There's two sides with four, four, seven, there, with 10 cups on each side in a triangle. And you have the beer pong balls and you can either- What's a beer pong ball? It's the little, um, you play ping pong. It's a ping pong ball. Yes, Your Honor. And? And usually you'll have water or beer in the cups and you will throw it. And if you get it in, then that side has to drink the cup that has whatever alcohol, substance, whatever liquid is in it. And then they return the ball. And if they get in your cup, then you drink it. Now, what part of the ACT course that you studied for or the SAT course that you studied for had the course in beer pong? No part, Your Honor. Did you learn that at Rensselaer? Mm. No, Your no, Honor. No, Your Honor. You learned that when you were living home with your mother, mother in high school. Yes, Your Honor. When you went to play beer pong with your buddies in high school, when you were 15 and 16 years old, you went to people's homes when they weren't home. Yes, Your Honor. Because that, that's what kids do. Parents go away and they think that they have reasonably adult children. They can trust them to be in their houses. Folks away, party. Now, I want you to think very carefully. Did you ever have a party when your mother was away? No, Your Honor. Would you tell me if you did? No. So you were always an invited guest at somebody else's house yes, in high Your school? Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Now, when you drank too much the night that you were out with Mr. Andino, nobody forced you to do this beer pong game, right? Right, Your Honor. And nobody forced you to do this beer pong game at Rensselaer, correct? Correct, Your Honor. And nobody forced you to play this beer pong game this alcohol game in high school when you were living with your mother. Correct, correct? Your Honor. Good. Now this is what this lawsuit is about. Your son drank too much when he was out at a party, not at his house, at somebody else's house. He drank of his own volition, as he has done when he was 15, 16, 17, and 18. When he was living with you, don't shake your head, no, he just told me yes. 15, 16, just, to, just listen to me. Don't look at him. He just answered me. He said he learned to play beer pong in high school when he would go to his friend's houses when the parents were away, and that's where he first learned it. I'll play back the tape so you can hear it. So that's when he first learned, um. that's when he first learned it, in high school when he was living, I assume, with you, because that's what he said. No, 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 she's gonna kill you later. <laughs> she's gonna kill you later. So he voluntarily drank when he was living with you, he voluntarily drank when he went to college, which I assume is costing you some money, which he studied hard for to get into it. He's a very smart young man. And then he went to a party and did exactly what he's done for the past three years, which is play beer pong. That's the way it started. Now, so he got sick and you had to take him to the hospital that night because he drank too much and he had alcohol poisoning. And you think Mr. Andino is responsible for him. That's what the case is about. Now we're going further. I'm educating your mother. Yes, Your Honor. Great. Now, the night that you went to the party at somebody else's house other than Mr. Andino, the first alcohol that you had was with groups of people playing the beer pong game, something that you were expertise at because you had been playing it for three years. What's the next alcohol that you drank? Your, your Honor. Uh, the... What's the next alcohol that you drank? During the beer pong game, they wasn't beer, it was hard liquor, and I had drunk a couple. And? And then after the beer pond game, I went to get water because I had never, I drink, it's usually if I play beer pond, it's with beer and not with hard liquor. Usually, sometimes with hard liquor. It's. You go to, you go to Rensselaer, sometimes with hard liquor. At Rensselaer's, they, they try to crack down on alcohol, <laughs> so. You are you listening to these people? I have five children. I have 13 grandchildren. Most of them had been to high school and college. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All righty.